seems almost a blink of an eye ago since we kicked off at 4.30 yesterday afternoon. The weather conditions similar to the, how they are at the finish. Slightly more cloud in the sky, 22 degrees, a bit of a breeze, lots of fans out around the circuit, but focus on the start. Pole starter Giancarlo Fisichella putting his helmet on and getting aboard the Kaspersky Ferrari. One last chance for the 63 runners to gauge the track conditions. But when it came to the start, Maxi Buch put himself on the grass in fifth place, but the pole man Fisichella led into where Rouge and right behind him, Mirko Bortolotti in the 63 Lamborghini. A twitch going in. How we held it, I do not know. Up into third place went Kevin Estra in the 117 Porsche. A couple of the Ferraris fighting for track position around the lap. And the pit stops came thick and fast, and BMW, the first two drivers, how is that? Four wheels off the deck at Eau Rouge for the 88. Junker Dea driven Acker Mercedes, then 912 Porsche. That was its first moment in the race. Look out in this highlights package, you'll see it again and again. A wheel problem, left rear problem for the 99. BMW put that way, way down the order. But the two cars that didn't have any problems at all were the 63 Lamborghini, Mirko Bortolotti getting upset as being blocked, and the 55 Ferrari that at that point was in second place. And then a huge shunt for Passin Latouris, the number 50 Ferrari crashing off very heavily indeed at Eau Rouge. The cleanup was quick and effective and uh, the Thai driver was soon given a clean bill of health from the medical center. And then the cars had to get into the pit lane. The entry, though, was blocked by the Garage 59 McLaren. That was moved out of the way. And then when the safety car pulled off again, it was a Lamborghini versus Ferrari. This was the story, the 63 Lamborghini and the 55. Bortolotti handed over to Andrea Cordarelli, but two laps later, the Ferrari came in and was five seconds ahead when it came out of the pit stop. And from there, it pulled clear over the remaining few laps as we went from day towards evening. 48 Mercedes in all sorts of problems after bodywork damage. Safety car called out as darkness fell around the circuit as a few fallers had to be cleared up. There's number six Audi, unfortunately stopping with electrical problems. They couldn't get it restarted despite Stefan Richelmi being given instructions from some Audi mechanics who rattled their way around to the final corner to warn him. And then in full dark conditions, riding on board there with the 63, Lamborghini, Christian Engelhardt at the wheel chasing that 55 Ferrari. Walken Horse were going very well in the AM class in their number 36 BMW. But it was some of the stop pit stop work that really, really stood out along with brilliant driving because it was such precise work, quick work, pure work. And then the 84 Mercedes had just was running third, fourth position, challenging very close at the front, and then off it went at Radiard. Tank slapper at Eau Rouge, and then into the barriers, front and back damage. That was out of the, the race, and that was one of the championship challenges. And still the 55 Ferrari kept going. Fisichella, Chiocci, and James Collado pushing so hard and looking super strong. They didn't see to be a chink in their armor. For the fans around the circuit, there was the concert on the outside of Eau Rouge that followed on after the hugely spectacular firework display. But out on the track, all eyes were keeping it on between the white line. Eyes hard to keep open in the pits. Guy Smith and the other drivers sitting, trying to focus, but uh, it was getting harder and harder as midnight came and midnight went on into Sunday morning. And really trying to keep your car on the track was becoming difficult for tired eyes among the drivers. But the 90 Mercedes at this point, there it is, right in front of us. That was fighting to see if it could work its way to the front. And so it did, coming into its pit stop from the lead of the race. More great pit stop work for the Abt Bentley crew. And there's Mirko Bortolotti, another good stint behind him. And then another spinner up at La Source. Quite a tricky corner in daylight, but at night time, it's very easy to clout the kerb on the inside. Uh, there we saw the number 18 Black Falcon Motorsports uh, Mercedes. That's their version out of the race, as was the Goodsmile Racing 00 uh, Mercedes, having been thumped off by the number three Audi. Both of those cars out of the race. And then down came the rain. But the big question for all the drivers, all the teams, and the statisticians was to try, the strategist was to work out how wet it was. Audi decided to do its uh, five minute mandatory technical pit stops, do the brake changes, and uh, was it the right time? Or was it the right time to go onto the full wet tyres? Three of the top crews decided they could brave it out on slicks. Number four was among them, as was number 55 and number 63 as well. 53, though, didn't get it right. And here is the bodywork damage. Rory Butcher went off in that. BMW were still in the mix at this point in the race, but it was all about keeping it clean. 
0.01 on the windscreen of the 85 HTP Motorsport Mercedes, showing that they not only had a quick car in the 84 that went out, but the 85 crew doing well. But the reason they went to the front was because they delayed their five-minute mandatory technical stop until as late as they possibly could. Of all the front runners, they were the last to do so. This was the point in the race in which the number 90 Acker Mercedes worked its way to the front and was increasingly found through the pit cycle in the lead of this race. That then went back to the 85 car. And then the 90 car with uh, Marcello went up the inside of the Kaspersky Ferrari with Marco Ciocci at the wheel. And La Source, the next corner is Eau Rouge, and there was no, no steering, unfortunately, for the Ferrari over and out. And I saw Fisichella leaving, looking very disappointed. Rene Rass taking over the number one Audi right in the mix. And he uh, went chasing off. And then this is the moment where 63 went out of the race. We lost one challenger in 55. And then 63, something went wrong. Possibly a braking problem down at Fania. Strike two of the front runners. And that left 90 in the lead of the race. But on the restart, the number one Audi went up the inside. I reckon it was coming from slightly too far back. Let's have a look from Renny Rass's point of view. Which car is in front going into Le Comp? Well, it's the Mercedes, but they clashed. They both went for a spin, and then Renny Rast was hit with a drive-through penalty as well. And then the number nine out, uh, Bentley eventually pulled to a halt. Uh, twice on the lap and was out of the race. It was running just outside the top 10. Dry conditions, and how's that for a spin up through Eau Rouge? Largely staying on the track, and that was Eduardo Mortara. But down from second place, it seemed the race was going away from the 90s, the 90 Mercedes, and the car on the move was the 25 Audi Sport Team Santalok Audi with Christopher Haase in particular building on great form. The number two Audi dropping away from the reckoning. Every driver looking towards victory was getting super, super nervous. Jules Gounor hardly knew where to look. And then a brilliant final pit stop from the eight Bentley crew put them in with a chance to claw back a few seconds, but they had too much of a mountain to climb. And Santalot Racing went heading off towards victory for Jules Gounor, for the man who's got six 24-hour uh, wins in Marcus Winkelhock. Yeah and Christopher Haas, and so it's been a brilliant Spa 24 Hours from Martin Haven and me, Bruce Jones. Thank you for joining us. We've had a fabulous time. Can't wait for this race in 12 months' time. Do come and join us.